Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for today's transfer updates. The first one of the season that I've done. It's the first one since last August, I think, that I've done. Um, and it's definitely silly season. And particularly with Wolves being promoted now to the Premier League, there's all sorts of names being thrown around. And I'm going to give you three today that have been talked about uh, in recent weeks and see, well, I'll tell you what I know about it so far. Um, I know some of these have been around for a, a couple of weeks or so and you may know as much as I'm going to tell you now, but... Just make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future updates because it's guaranteed to be the biggest spending summer of Wolves' history and we'll see who's going to come in and who's going to go out. But the first one that I'm going to bring to you is one that's been widely reported in a number of newspapers is that Joe Hart has been linked with a move to Wolves or possibly Southampton at, in a an attempt to resurrect his career. Of course, he's been out of favour at Manchester City. He's been out on loan in Torino and uh, West Ham last year. Not being included in the England squad now for the summer. Hasn't had the best couple of seasons, to be honest. And I think where Wolves are looking to be, we need a consistent and a high-performing goalkeeper. And for me, Joe Hart is not that goalkeeper. We've also been linked with uh, Jose Sarr and Rui Patricio, from Portugal. It's obvious that Nuno is looking to replace John Ruddy or at least give him some serious competition for his number one uh, jersey. The second person I'm going to talk about now is uh, Renato Sanchez. Um, now he's had an awful season at Swansea by all accounts, uh, famously passing to the advertising board and just really didn't fit in there and I think with all the hopes that Swansea fans put on him when he went there he was going to save their season and as a young professional he hasn't really delivered in any sort of way that we thought that he would after the Euros in 2016, where he was the best player, best young player in that tournament. He hasn't gone on to meet that meet that potential so far. But Wolves have been linked to him, uh, and lots of Wolves fans have thought, well, Nuno will be able to re re-energise him and to get him playing again in the way that he was back in the Euros. However, uh, it looks as if he'll be going back to Bayern Munich uh, for the time being anyway. Uh, their chief, exec chief executive, Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, has said that he's coming back and he'll try and uh, bring him back to his former strength, which is an exciting job. I'm not too disappointed about this one, to be honest. I think we've seen that in the Premier League he has not been able to cope. We saw him uh, at close quarters in the FA Cup as well and he played very, very poorly in that first game in particular, uh, being dragged off after about half an hour or so against the Wolves. So I'm not too disappointed about that one. The other rumour that's been going around for two years now is Anderson Taliska. Uh, there's been persistent rumours for a long, long time about him coming into the Wolves. Um, but it seems as if he will be going to Liverpool, judging by what their Besiktas manager said yesterday. Uh, it was the end of the Turkish season and he was asked about Taliska. And he, says, he said that Taliska had already gone in the winter break that they have. Uh, he's sorry that he couldn't stay with us any longer. I wish he could stay for his sake and ours. He's already got a deal in place. He might be rivals with Cenk Tosun, who, of course, is at Everton. And they're bitter rivals, of course, Liverpool. Now, there's still rumblings about this one and whether or not it's pretty much accepted by, I think, a lot of the media that he's coming to England. But whether that's uh, for Manchester United or for Liverpool or Wolves, he was asked about the Wolves, apparently, uh, the coach, and he said to look higher at the table. So that does suggest that it will be a Manchester United or a Liverpool. The final piece of news from today is that there has been the retained list has been announced today. Uh, 59 players have been retained by the Wolves, including the likes of Paul Gladon and Prince Onyangi. So their contracts have not been cancelled. So hopefully, so Wolves are obviously hoping to get some sort of transfer fee for the both of them. Uh, Karl Akimi also has been retained, which I think was obvious that, that was going to happen. Uh, his contract and things like that will still be ongoing. And I'm not sure when his contract does run out, uh, but I'm sure that the Wolves will have something in place for him uh, at the end of that anyway. They've released about 12 players from the academy. Uh, no real names of note. Uh, John Flatt probably being the highest profile one. We've seen him in first team squads in, over the last couple of years, but he's gone. And professional terms have been offered to Rory Brown, Ryan Giles, Diego Latte, or Latt, I'm not sure, and Dion Sanderson. So hopefully we'll see some of those coming through or perhaps being loaned out in the future. Uh, thank you very much for watching today's little video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content and updates. This is the first of uh, the summer series. Uh, the transfer window is open, but I don't think that 
in international transfers can happen until about the 8th of June, so there won't be any major transfers until that date. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.